Well, good day, my friends. Today is the day that we are now leaving this place that I discovered outside of Camp Sherman and going to go and explore this area that I've always wanted to go to. So here we go to embark on this next journey, trying to get outside of the Redmond area of Oregon and go explore that area. Okay, are you ready? Let's go do it. Okay, so this is uh, Skull Hollow Campground, the Crooked River, and this is where everybody comes to when they want to go to the state park that I'm going to be showing you. All right, so we're going to go check this out and see what this is like. There is supposed to be some boondocking further down the road that you come off of to get here, and I'll have to tell you what the road is but I'm just curious what this is all about in here how safe I would feel also in here oh sorry I just went over a cattle guard crossing all right so see what this looks like somebody's got a teeny little trailer over here but the vehicle's gone so they probably went in to go see the state park restrooms here. Actually, this is not a bad thing. I might really scope it out. Cute, cute, cute. Oh, they must have a host here. Yeah, campground fees. Let's go check that out real quickly. Okay, so it is $10 a night and $5 for senior and some passes. Um, like the senior and the disability and they actually take the America Beautiful. Um, I forgot to see who owns this if it's BLM land. And they have quiet hours and so that's nice that they do this because where I'm going it's only walk-in and you cannot um, you cannot uh, camp in there with an RV or anything longer than 20 feet and you can't sleep in your vehicle there. So there's a bathroom here but I don't like to be like on top of the bathroom. So and that trash. Probably no water though. 
and it looks like he had some firewood over there at the house. Okay, so um, yeah, we'll just continue looking around and we'll see how things look. The camp host told me at one time this BLM campground used to be free. But a homeless situation took it over, so the rangers had to come in and charge at this campground now. And they actually added 30 more campsites, and then they brought in a camp host. So now it is a beautiful campground and really worth checking out when you're in this area. Well, good day, my friends. Let me show you my spot here at Skull Hollow Campground. It's pretty cool. There's my little, there's neighbors that just came in. It's been kind of cold. It's been uh, just now warming up as it gets to noon. And I'm finally getting to the point of filming my spot. Yeah, it's just the breeze. The wind chill seems a little bit colder when that wind. See, right now the wind just came up. But he can go in the shade or come out. And he actually will sunbathe even with the sweater on because he likes to be warm like me. Here is the spot. Very pretty. Got the table. And I love all the rocks. The color of them with all of the wildflowers and stuff all behind. Very, very pretty. And have the tree. And then this is our little camp. There we go. So definitely if you come out this way to go and see Smith Rock, this is the place to come to and stay as you explore around this area. Okay, now I'm in a hailstorm. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I was working on a new video and um, I knew it was going to be kind of cloudy and yucky, but oh my gosh, I heard this clunk, 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 and I went, wait a minute, that's not rain. Can you see it on the ground there? Yep, little hail. Wow. <laughs> crazy. I want warmer weather. All right, see it on the table? I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I just had to share this little hail moment. Little beads. These are small. I'll take small. But nothing uh, one inch in diameter or something like that because my solar can't withstand anything huge. But those are small enough. See them under the tree? So I should be fine. They don't get bigger. Alright, I've been trying to find a place to put you. <laughs> because all of a sudden it'll be calm and then a gust of wind and then it's calm. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I kind of want to film this. But west is that way. And so it's blowing kind of west easternly kind of wind so if it gets a little rocky <laughs> that's what's going on it's not an earthquake but I finally made my drink oh my gosh it's been a while oops <laughs> and uh, so I finally whipped up my green drink and in this one I ended up doing my asparagus the four um, my powders that I showed in a video before about this. I'll put a link to it above for those that might not have seen it. And then I do my turmeric in this one and also banana and a little bit of spinach. I put a little bit of apple and then I actually put avocado in this one. I had a little small avocados I'm trying to use up. And I thought, what the heck? Why not? And then a little stevia for my sweetener. I'm going to call this good. Um, I do have some kale. 
I do like to stick a little of that in there for nutrients. Mm. Oh, this is good. Yeah, this is really good. I think that little bit of apple in there really, touch, you know, is, is the touch of it being really good. Anyways, um, the turmeric is what makes it yellow. <laughs> So then I feel like I have a yellow, you know, a little mustache or something like that. I pour it in here because I find it easier to um, drink than messing with the sipper that comes with this. It's really hard to clean and the part that has the lead. And I try to make my cleaning as easy as possible. I put a little water in here, rinse it all out, and I actually do drink it. And you know kind of win-win <laughs> um, so I do it like that so that helps me to clean this a little easier and now I'm going to go enjoy this and enjoy the beautiful day outside during my visit here so cheers once again and I'll do more videos of you know making it up and showing you As I sit here enjoying my healthy smoothie, I just am in admiration of the beauty in our country and in this place. I just don't need a lot to do just to sit in the silence looking at the plants just moving in the wind, kind of like they're dancing just the beauty of the color and the rocks with the green plants behind it and then all of a sudden the wind will just gust and come through and I actually do miss the sound of the wind I never thought I would when I embarked on this journey I was never a fan of wind and how I've longed and missed it um, since not being able to be in Arizona, I now embrace it. And just looking at this beautiful tree, it's so gorgeous, so beautiful. I'm just really more heightened and more aware of you know, what the different areas bring, a different kind of weather. <laughs> weather storms, lightning, storms in the spring and summer, or the winds out in the desert. It's just all has its different, you know, kind of unique beauty. <laughs> I just miss the wind. I miss being with Kent and it makes me think of him a lot too when I sit here with the wind. All the places we've gone to we were always a lot of wind. So it's just kind of neat to reflect on the special moments in our life and embracing them and never forgetting them. And my dad taught me to listen to the wind and so I think of him too. See how it just goes from quiet and then you hear the wind and it will pick back up again. The birds will be chirping. You know one time in the beginning Kent told me something that never left my mind. And he said, how can you get bored when you're out in nature? There's so much to see. There's so much to 
look at and to discover and in the beginning I didn't really get it until I spent more and more time with him and traveling and he get the binoculars out we're always looking for wildlife or just the look of a plant or you know bush or a tree um, you know the different weather that would come through and always something to look at something to discover I'm so grateful for that and I get it you know and I think when we first hit the road we're still so busy from life in the city and everything that that brings or conditions us to that we don't learn to just stop and to be at peace and to look and to listen and to enjoy more of nature or the day you know and this life does help you to do that, to stop and to listen, to enjoy the second, the day, the moment. And that's what I'm doing and I just wanted to share that with you all. Thank you for spending the time with me as I drink my smoothie, enjoying the beautiful day. Well, I hope you enjoyed my stay here, or just a little peek of this campground. I just wanted to make sure that I shared it with everybody, because you do not want to miss why I came here, which is to see Smith Rock. So, stay tuned for the next video, when we get a chance to go and explore that area. Alright, I'm excited, <laughs> so stay tuned. Alright, I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video.